The blues, like any other form of music, has standards. You're going to go to a jam session, some people might call out crosscut saw in the hopes that someone actually knows how to play crosscut saw. On the album, it's, a, it's, a, it's an Albert King song, on the album it's an A flat and it's a rumba. And here's how it goes, so basically two fingerings for this song. So it's rumba time, two, three, four. one way of doing it. Here's the other way of doing it. Crosscut saw by Albert King. Here's how the fingering actually goes. The root, third, five, six, five, back to the root. That's the whole pattern for the whole song. Pretty simple. <clears throat> the other fingering is the same thing. One, three, five, six, five. There's the old Albert King ending. But you may or may not do in that song, depending on how you end it. He fades it out on the record. So crosscut saw. Albert King A flat. Maybe we got time for another blues standard here. Something that somebody might call out is mojo. There's lots of different ways of doing mojo, but. I kind of like to do it this way. If you do it this way, you cannot go wrong. There'll be different tempos, but if you get this bass line, you, you got it. You got it down right. It, Mojo usually starts out with an intro, which I will do on the bass, be a harmonica or a guitar or something, doing it in real life. And your first bass note will be this one right here. Let me do a little intro. <laughs> That's pretty simple. All that is is. All that is is. So that's Mojo and um, Crosscut Saw, two blues standards that you got to know if you're going to play traditional blues. Next I think we'll work on a, uh, just a basic blues progression. 
See how that goes on the bass.